Alright, am I the problem? Am I the problem? I think I might be a victim shaming. Um, that's a problem because when people... I was in my head me, deep about this. I'm so glad you brought it up. Oh, why? Because I feel like when things are presented to me, whereas uh, the mass majority would be like, off off with their head, or this is the bad guy, or da 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 I'm like, mm, let's take a pause and let's ask some questions. And we've kind of gotten to a point where like, I feel bad for asking questions versus having an opinion off top based off of what is presented to me. Why would you feel me. bad? No. You should never, ever take what they give you. Ever. I feel like you should always ask questions. Questions, because there's everything. Because two sides to, to a story Three. always. Three. Maybe even more, depending on who's there. But, fucking, um, like, for instance, you saw where um, these girls went to the emergency room for, for um, carbon monoxide poisoning from um, smoke and hookah. Mm-hmm. And now, and then freaking Snoop was like, oh, after some time, I have decided that I am quitting the smoke. My first question was when it came to the hookah girls, I'm like, well... Um, were you smoking in a poorly ventilated apartment? Pro- probably shouldn't be doing that. Why do you think they was in an apartment? Because to catch carbon monoxide poison, I would assume you have to be in a closed enough space to where you're not getting proper Are oxygen you going out them. every day smoking hookah? Are you smoking hookahs that ain't been cleaned properly? Boom. Definitely clean your hookahs. Also, zoomed in on the picture. It looked like they had quick light codes. I'm like, who the fuck does that? You're not supposed to use those anymore. They have foil over. I'm just saying maybe I've reached a point of hookahing where I'm like, there were so many red flags here. Maybe you shouldn't have smoked this hookah. So, that goes with what my train of thought last night. With everything you do, I'm not saying victim shame, but... With everything you do, you know the consequences that could come Boom. from Boom. Yes. Accountability. No, you don't want this to happen, but you know, if you go to this place at this time like this, and mm-hmm. it's like, somebody asked me one day, it was like, do you blame the woman? It's just an analogy. Mm-hmm. Do you blame the woman in the skirt for getting raped? And I said, yes. Because that woman put herself in that environment. Mm-hmm. Every fucking day is a choice. Like, like, not saying that that's everybody's case. Everybody's situation is totally different. For but sure. No matter who you are, where you are, what you're going on, you had the choice to like do something. Whether it was leave, not go, scream, tell, yell. You had the opportunity to do something, and you did nothing. Mm-hmm. Now it's affecting you because all you do is think about it every day, mm-hmm. and you want to make this person out to be an evil. And villain. now you want to put the <clears throat> blame on somebody. I think everybody has to hold Stop accountability people. in the role that they play in these things. That's that's my whole thing. That's my whole thing. It was, I just don't like that. I notice that in people too when I'd be like, oh, or they'll say whatever happened to them that they didn't like that happened. They'd be like, it only happened because it's always a blame game. If this didn't happen, if that didn't happen, but yeah, if you had proper planning prevents poor performance. Boom. The five Ps. That's with everything you do, whether it's a meal plan, a workout, a relationship, a job. You have to plan accordingly. You didn't manage your time wisely. Somehow, some way, you got in this situation, and now you're blaming this other person. No. And I think when I go through this process of saying my head, just because I'm holding someone accountable doesn't mean that this other person isn't a dickhead. Yeah. Like, like clearly, what they did was wrong. It doesn't make it right. But also, maybe you can't play victim because how how did you get in that position? I totally know that manipulation is a thing etc etc but so is you you have full mobility and range like if you're mobile you can always get about that situation forget about that dick for sure um shout out to um shout out to making the most money you've ever made it in 24 hours i manifest that just motivated me because it's like throw a fit every time